Guys, we are finally here. NBA 2K22, we are here, man. Hey, man, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Tryin. And today, guys, I'm here to bring you guys the best ISO build on NBA 2K22. I will also be dropping another build video right after this. If you guys don't like this build video, there is another build that you guys might like for ISO. I'm not gonna lie, I was in the My Player Builder for like about five hours just trying to find the best build, and I think I pretty much found the best one. All right, but before we get into the build video, if you guys could do me a huge favor, before we get into it, if you guys could do me a huge favor and smash that like button, make sure you guys subscribe if you guys are new. Do not forget to turn on the post notifications. If you guys look at all my past previous 2Ks, you guys already know I make the best builds in the game, and today I got another one for you guys, man. So let's get straight into it. So the first thing you want to do is going to go ahead and go with a shooting guard. Right now, now you guys are probably wondering why i won't go point guard i will show you guys right after this why you should go shooting guard instead of point guard you do actually get way more badges and you actually get better attributes all right so trust me guys just go with shooting guard what you guys want to do you guys already know i love going left-handed i always go left-handed every single year you guys could pretty much either go left or right-handed that doesn't really matter i just prefer left-handed because i just i'm always going left-handed every single year you guys already know jersey number 99 it doesn't really matter now the pie chart you guys want to go ahead and choose right here is the pure yellow i love the pure yellow hands down probably the most balanced like pie chart ever like you could just pretty much do everything so yeah guys you guys want to go ahead and go with the pure yellow pie chart the pure playmaking pie chart obviously you guys want to go with the speed pie chart for this right here all right as you guys can see right off the bat we get 93 speed 92 acceleration all right so right here you guys can go ahead and copy everything down i'm gonna be showing you guys how to make this build so the first thing you guys want to go ahead and do is max out your driving layup max out your driving dunk you want to max out your mid-range max out your three ball you want to max out your free throw you want to max out your post fade then you want to take off a little bit of points until you get up to 15 all right so your post rate should be a 55 just copy everything down so you do not make a mistake and you guys want to go ahead and max out your pass accuracy max out your ball handling all right and then just put a little bit literally one point into your post control and you guys should get 30 playmaking okay now right here what you guys want to do max out your perimeter your lateral your steal your block your defensive rebound and then put the rest on your interior and then the rest on your offensive rebound okay and if you guys did everything correctly you guys should end up with 1 15 30 and 9 okay we'll put up another screenshot of why you guys should have went shooting guard all right you guys still get the same amount of speed but you guys will see the difference from point guard and shooting guard right so right now you would see the difference from point guard and shooting guard you get more defensive badges and everything is just all around way better so obviously you feel me why would you not want to go shooting guard so yeah guys make sure you guys have all these badges down and so far we can move on to the next step now obviously we're gonna go ahead and for the body shape i always go slight i'm not gonna lie slight just looks very cheesy i love going slight now for the height you want to stay at 65 all right and then for your weight you guys want to go ahead and go to 178 you don't want to go all the way down because as you guys can see you still have the same speed if you go lower you're just hurting yourself you're losing more interior so just go at 178 so you guys don't lose as much as interior and it doesn't really do anything you guys still have 95 speed and 95 acceleration now for the wingspan you guys want to go with minimum wingspan now this year it actually is a little bit more similar to 2k20 in the shooting so as you guys can see your three ball is a 78 all right which is actually very very high for a pure playmaker all right so as you guys can see these are what the stats are looking like so far i'm telling you guys this build is very very overpowered like especially at 99 overall i'm gonna show you guys how the stats are gonna look like all right but as you guys can see right off the bat 95 speed 95 acceleration like come on bro you had a 68 driving dunk which actually you feel me it might be it might look a little low but i promise you guys you will be able to dunk very very consistently you just won't be able to unlock the good dunks if you really think about it a bunch of these play shots you're going to be coming up against they're all like at what like a 90 speed like an 80 some speed since you're a pure playmaker you have 90 plus speed off the rip all right so yeah guys you want to go ahead and go with the minimum wingspan and then right here you want to go ahead and choose the playmaking takeover all right if you guys did everything correctly you guys should get the mid-range playmaker this will be my tools build for the year hands down probably the best tools build in the game best iso build for the tools right here and like i said i will be dropping another iso build video right after this so if you guys don't like this one you guys want to wait till the next one you guys can go ahead and do that but i'm not gonna lie these are both very very good builds the other build video i'm gonna drop is mainly for like the ones 
now real quick i just want to show you guys what this build will look like at 99 overall as you guys can see it says 99 overall rating. this isn't actually the the pure 99 overall uh ratings right here i will put them on the screen right now i'll put them on the side of the attributes so if you guys do not know this year when you guys hit 99 overall once you hit 95 overall every overall you guys go up it is a plus four to your attributes all right and once you guys get that plus four you could actually add another additional plus four using boost okay so, so i'm telling you guys you guys will have up to an 86 three-pointer and a 93 mid-range which is very very overpowered you're gonna have a 99 pass accuracy a 99 ball handling you're gonna have 99 speed 99 acceleration you're gonna have a 76 driving dunk you're gonna have a 96 driving layup you're gonna have an 82 perimeter 82 lateral and an 83 steal how can you guys not tell me this build is not op if you really think about it, once you guys actually upgrade your player to like an 85 overall you will have like 95 speed off rip and if you guys go ahead and do your weekly workouts which is like the gatorade facility it adds a plus four to your speed and acceleration so you're gonna have 99 speed off the rip and just keep in mind a bunch of these builds out here do not even have close to over 95 speed off the rip all right just off you making this build you guys already have a huge speed advantage now we're gonna go ahead and get straight into the badges man I, now i do only get one finishing badge but like i said you will just want to put that on the giant slayer now for the shooting badges i know it's only 15 and trust me it's gold but i promise you guys these shooting badges are actually good enough you guys want to go ahead and put on hot zone hunter dead eye blinders rhythm shooter and green machine all right as you guys can see those are all perfect these are the only badges i need the perfect amount right here 15 shooting badges is perfect for this build now we do get 30 playmaking now what you guys want to go ahead and do handles for days on hall of fame quick first step you want to put quick chain tight handles on hall of fame unpluckable on gold actually you want to lower quick chain on gold and put flood general on hall of fame now these are what your playmaking badges should look like and we actually even have nine defensive badges that's what i like about this build you get nine defensive badges which is actually a lot a lot of these guards don't even have they get like what six to seven defensive badges even up to five you guys already know obviously you want to go with clamps intimidator and rim protector all right these are the three gold badges you guys want to have on your defense and as you guys can see that's pretty much all you need now i will be leaving some clips for you guys so you guys can actually see how this build actually shoots i am only shooting threes in these gameplays so for those wondering if you could shoot with a 78 three-pointer i will actually show you guys gameplay now if you guys do not want to watch gameplay if you guys made it this far throughout the video if you guys could do me a huge favor and smash that like button do not forget to subscribe and turn on the post notifications become part of the try hard gang i will be uploading a Another build video right after this so you feel me without further ado let's get straight into the gameplay man now let me tell you guys something bro when i tell you guys this build can shoot i mean this build can shoot like i'm not gonna lie to you i don't even have hot spots here and um bro this build could really speed boost like the speed on this build i literally love it like i come momentum like just look at my combos like i'm over here greening stepping back greening in a mouth like i'm telling you guys this build might be for the rest of the year might be my build bro because i love running twos you guys know i'm a twos player i'm an iso player i love running iso and this build just literally just suits my play style i got play make and take once i pop on that play make and take over you feel me you're boosting your teammates pretty much everybody on the court it, it literally increases your speed it gives you blow buys you break ankles you drop people like it's literally the best takeover in the game look at me shooting in their face and i know there's gonna be people saying yo you're on rookie you feel me it takes no skill whatever bro but listen I was doing this even in like blacktop with superstar i literally went to go ahead and i went to blacktop i went to the 1v1 i made a created my player with the same stats as my player and i literally put the difficulty all the way up all right and i'm telling you guys once you guys max this build at 99 overall with those shooting boosts this build is literally so broken like there's no need to make a play shot when you can make this build and i'm not gonna lie to you guys the next build video i'm gonna release is actually even another broken build like my noti game just gonna have to wait for that if you guys do want to see another point guard build which is actually made kind of like for the once core it's kind of like a taller version of this build i always find a way to make builds overpowered because of the takeovers wait anyways guys i hope you guys enjoyed this year is very very promising man we're on this road to 100k i'll catch you guys in the next video anyways guys it's been your boy trying i love you guys and i'm out man peace